Now then, it's give it a swing with Smith outdoors. Now, as it's January, there's not a lot. Go there's not a lot going on. There's not much fishing or anything like that. So I thought today I'd do another review, and the review today, as the title suggests, is Stanley Thermos Flasks, and I'm a big fan. Um, of course, the Thermos Flask has limitations. It also has advantages, and depending on what you want to do, you know, you use it according to. Well, what you need to do. I mean, at the end of the day, I would say that a thermos flask for the main is for a day out, a single day trip, and you need a hot drink instantly without all the buggering about of boiling water and making a fresh brew. The disadvantage, of course, is the tea eventually won't taste that good. But on the whole, it's they're, 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 really, they're really handy. I like them because of the convenience, and that's the advantage. The convenience of the thermos flask is in your kitchen, in the warmth you can make a hot drink into the thermos flask then a few hours later when you think god oh, i'm a bit parched i could do with a i could do with wetting the whistle then you can um yeah get a nice hot cup of tea and uh some people say oh it doesn't taste very good out of a flask there is some truth in that as long as you drink it a little bit earlier don't wait too long but there have been some improvements but i'm going to go through all these flasks i've got here Two of them aren't actually Stanley, but they're, they're, they're just, just sort of like, they're still good quality though. But my old favourite is this one. This is the uh, half a litre Stanley. And as you can see, it's got the old motif on it. They've modernised since then. And this holds half a litre, like I say, uh, it's, in the, it's in the classic green colour. The mottled, like, it's what you like, hammerite um, green. A classic, iconic. I like it. The only thing is, once you open it, don't close it again. If you open it up, just drink the lot. Because if you close it again and then open it in an hour or two, it's it's gone cold. So it's no longer that effective. But I've kept it because um, <laughs> maybe for sentimental reasons, I don't know. But I, what I used to do, I used to take that fish in, and in addition, I had this flask now i bought this in the lake district back in the 90s i spent quite a bit of time up in the lake district and i bought this from one of those outdoor shops and i spent quite a bit of money on it at the time but it's never let me down and it's a real good it, it, and this is my coffee flask so this but this holds coffee red hot all day all day you could have this with your eight hours open it up and you've got a hot cup of coffee and i'm not exaggerating a little a little wonder i don't even know the make it was just one of those real expensive ones in a walking shop you know that's all the all the mountaineering gear and stuff like that so although it's not a stanley it's a good one and what i used to do is i used to have that with tea and that with coffee and then in addition to that if it was really cold and it was winter time i used to have this i still actually use this and this is from the same sort of period, as around 15 years old now, that I got. Yeah, it must be, it must be. And this is a food flask. And the idea of this is that, again, in the morning, before you go out on your little adventure, whatever it is for the day, you think, well, it's a bit of a cold, miserable day. Maybe I should have some soup or, or some stew or something like that, goulash. And you can get it piping hot back home in the kitchen, fill this up and off you go the only thing you have to remember is with these metal flasks is you've got to preheat them especially these older models because that takes a lot of the heat out of the food you've just warmed up so you get like a i won't say cold though it's a lukewarm but not as it's nice to be piping hot so fill this up with boiling water close it leave it for half an hour while you're boiling up your stew and everything but once you've done that once you've preheated it and put the let's say baked beans and sausages boom bang in piping hot lid on then that'll stay warm for a good four hours and uh, usually that's about the time you're ready for something to eat anyway isn't it but you know especially on a cold fishing day you stood on the beach and bloody hell i could do with some so so you can uh, you, but once you've opened it again get it eaten and uh, and if you're with, with a buddy who wants some you've got that and then you can eat the rest directly out the tin out the uh, flask so it's a good little system. I um, use two elastic bands and have a foot, uh, spoon down the side and you can also put a little sachets of salt and things like that. That's quite a good little idea. But again, it's all it's all quite bulky and I suppose if you want to talk of a disadvantage is that they're quite heavy in it, that they're bulky. But the advantage is it's convenient. You've got it, it's already hot. 
but again there's lots of different ones but the new ones the new stanley this is the old one just look at the there that's the old stanley insignia and this is the new one and this one is an absolute dream double the size of that a full litre and I don't know what they did to improve them because as I say I've been happy with this for years but when I got this because it was bigger I wanted a bigger one but this can keep your liquid hot if you don't open it for a couple of days it, it's, uh, it's I, I, I've thought there's been a couple of times where I haven't drank it for whatever reason I can't remember opened it up days later and it was still hot I'm not saying it was piping hot but if you can, and this you can close again so you can have two cups of tea close it up and in a couple of hours time it's still all right to drink so these new stanleys i really am impressed with them so this is a full liter and that's that's my go-to now i don't use this one so much the older one but however i do i do use this big one and it, as i say it's so effective in addition to this big flask i've got this small uh, that's this is also well this is 354 milliliters so it's so so it's like a big mug of, big mug of tea and this i've used at work for years i am um, got a couple of years and it's really good you can go in the canteen top it up lid on have it in your forklift truck boom off you go and then wet your whistle every now and again nice little thing i, I often use it if i'm going on a long car drive I'll, uh, I'll just fill this up with tea and have, have that in, on the side so as I'm driving I can have a swig. But like the like the little tea model, I've also got a little model for the for the coffee because I like both. Prefer tea, but I do like coffee. And this I got off the kids for uh, for for Christmas a few years ago now, four years ago. Again, it's sort of similar size to this. So I'm thinking it's about 350 milliliters. And it's a good quality one and this this keeps things real hot as well so that's another so I'll, so if i'm doing on short trips then tea coffee there you go no problem right the other thing of course with the stanley is that there's this uh, there's this lovely green color which is what, what they're famous for but they also do this rather smart color blue this is the wife's and uh, yeah she wanted something a bit different so i got the wife that and also this one here which is the which is the same as that one and uh, and and these with mean, these can't hold things warm all day but that's not the idea the idea is that you've got a hot drink with you all the time while you while you're at work or whatever and there we are so there's the there's the main sort of fleet of my <laughs> of my stanleys but there's also this you no know, so you might recognize this the old hip flask and you can get in there let's have a eight fluid ounces so I honestly don't know what that is yeah that's funny that's only got the ounces never mind I'll tell you what though you've got enough room in there if you fill that with whiskey you've got a lot of whiskey in there you don't want to be driving and it's again in the iconic green color it doesn't have to keep anything warm but it just has that real I like the look of them I think they look really good so that's the hip flask version of the, the Stanley flasks there's, there's an array of other stuff you can get but this is this is what I have this is what I use and I've and I really like them like I say the disadvantage of course is that it's a it's a, it's a one shot once you've once you've drank it all eaten it all then that's it you, you, you finish you've got to fill them up at home but but that's the idea they're not designed for anything else they're designed to give you a hot hot drink and a hot or hot food while you're out during the day shooting fishing train spotting whatever that actually is i've never quite understood the idea of that but anyway i'm not and i'm not not knocking it so if there's anybody train spotting out there it's not a criticism i've just never something i've never done um there was a good film made called train spotting years ago back in the 90s bloody hell i remember that but anyway that's that i digress so yeah this is just a little a uh, little dreary january afternoon vlog looking at thermos flasks so i will say give it a swing outdoors R highly recommends stanley thermos flasks they are really good especially these new ones so 
I, I don't suppose you can get the older versions now. It stood me, it stood me well for many years, but it, but these new ones are much better. So there we are. I think we'll leave it at that. I'll uh, get the old cap on because it's getting a bit cold. And I'll say ta -ra until the next time. And um, I'm hoping the weather will start getting better soon and we can, we can go out and do, do some stuff. All right then. See you later.